Hi, this is Danny. I'd like to fill in some blanks on my rooftop solar system, my grid type system, and kind of where I came from uh, as far as, you know, where I started and where I ended up with. And some of you all are interested in the low cost Amazon uh, grid tie systems. And I was kind of there uh, at the start. I, I was thinking I was going to do that. So this video is about the reasons why I didn't go that way. And I think some of the pitfalls that I, I avoided in doing it. And I've been doing on my current system, which is an engineered UL approved system for about nine months. And uh, I really like it a lot, but there was some hurdles, uh, you know, getting the permits and everything. And so I'm going to just discuss my thought process and I'm trying to get you over to my side. So this is going to be kind of a video where I'm, I'm going to be uh, the devil's advocate against uh, uh, doing these uh, low cost Amazon grid tie inverter systems. And I'm going to try to win you over to, to the side that I chose. So if, if you don't think you're going to like this and you're going to give me a lot of negative comments and maybe just don't watch this video. But if you're kind of open to the idea of, you know, another alternative, then continue watching. Anyway, uh, stay tuned. Well, I started out looking at these sorts of systems here where uh, we could plug into our house connection um, and then just um, run um, sometimes they end up you end up running your meter backwards you hook up solar panels and then you um, may have batteries but usually not and and you just back feed um, into your regular um, uh, panel uh, and you and you use these uh, very low cost um, grid tie inverters that there are several several smart people on the internet that that do videos on on this um, so I have done uh, I've decided not to go that way and I've I've, I've done several videos on um, the DIY DIY systems where I'm you know saying you know how to generate your plans go through the city in a proper way and do proper wiring and um, and you know do proper labeling and everything and it just isn't that difficult to do correctly and I think that you probably need to at least learn how to do it correctly because then you make a decision not to do it correctly and what is the cost so generally speaking um, I think that um, the reason why I decided not to do it and you may not want to uh, do this uh, low cost um, eBay or eBay Amazon approach is that with the um, with the standard grid tie systems they are you know the ones that most people have on their roof they are UL tested and and to get inspection is kind of a value-added service a lot of people don't view it that way but it is um, it, it does National Electric Code is good <laughs> it's the minimum level of safety that you want to have for your family and your friends um, so so you so you don't get burned up in a house fire right um, yes there's a lot little bit of hassle associated with it but I think it's it's a good thing um, and as far as your solar panel location you know you may you may want to and you may think it's a good thing to actually I guess do proper roof setbacks so the fire department can actually access your roof and uh, you may also want to um, you know have um, you know you may want to some of these systems um, just you know kind of bootleg onto your electrical panel and they do it in a way that's unbalanced and you don't and it's not that good to do that either so um, it, it 
in the and the main thing I'd say is they're not highly engineered like the UL systems, and you get you know some peace of mind with that. Um, you know, you also could have risks to your appliances, right? You've got this refrigerator and you got this non highly engineered system that you know you could blow up some of your electronics, you know, with these systems, right? So it's it's kind of costly in that respect, you know, and you don't know when that stuff's going to blow up. Right. Um, so um, then on top of that, you know, since we don't know what we don't know, you have this kind of unknown, unknown issues. Right. We don't even know what we don't know. Right. So we're going to come across that and it's going to be in the middle of winter or sometime that's not very convenient, you know, for you to, you know, when your stuff blows up, um, you could kind of detract from the value of your home because you're not going with you know the NEC UL system um, there probably will be serviceability issues you are the only one that knows how that stuff goes together you can't get somebody out that knows how to fix it right when you get older um, um, there's all these liability issues with feeding back onto the onto the, the grid if you accidentally backfeed when you shouldn't um, and the nice thing about backfeeding is it it allows you to um, use the utility as a free battery. So it's a free battery you get to get for, get to get to have forever, you know, by using by getting that utility permission to operate, which is a huge thing. So, and then it also allows you to be grandfathered into. Um, you know, a situation where you can sell back. Now, a lot of the people don't think the rates are that good, but you will be able to sell back the utility excess energy and you're going to be able to mitigate some of that, those forward costs of, you know, electricity. So I'm going to kind of discuss some counters to the people who are using these, uh, low cost inverters um so so these people first of all they're they're these are usually uh smart people um and they usually you know buy everything on amazon and i can get it cheaper and you know the the problem is their time horizon for the system that you want to put on your roof is is uh is actually um, pretty long um, time horizon. So the total cost of these uh, low cost uh, Amazon systems uh, are generally uh, quite um, short and you need a, probably a system that will last you, you know, uh, many years, you know, uh, ideally over 10 years. And there are a lot of resources out there. If you don't buy Amazon and you buy um, this, you know, the, the, the engineered systems um, and you're going to have to pay a little bit more for those, but they are going to have more wattage and they are going to get along with utilities and they may have software updates in the future. Um, and so, you know, the, the, these systems um, and and you know you can get started on a, a, a with a low cost system. Here's here's a 295 watt system for 100 and 295 watt uh, micro inverter that you can um, that you can have for 149 bucks. You know if you if for 295 watts, um, it's pretty easy to to get started and. Um, you know, solar panels, you can put a big, you can put a super big panel on, on, on that. Um, so, you know, you can get a, um, you know, uh, for, you know, a very low wattage or for, you can get 395. Well, of course, you know, with a, you, you, you could, you could get for 200 bucks, you can get this 360 watt, um, panel and you can buy, you can get really big panels. Okay. So, um, 
I, I I'm really not seeing why you know you can take a you could take advantage of all this knowledge that's out in the market for free and and have a system configured for you or you can just go on to sites like this and you could build your own why don't you just test out what it's like to build your own system in 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 a site on a site like this and you know and build your own real small system even um so there's a lot of information and these systems all have big warranties on them and it's not you're not going to find yourself in the middle of winter the middle of summer and <laughs> blowing you know they are a, a lot more reliable than than these amazon systems that you know some of you uh are are considering like like i did um you know some people are saying you know my electric rates are pretty cheap it's not worth it to do the utility hookup um but i i really think that you ought to be, consider doing the utility hookup because it's almost free to do it um i think you could do well I think you're gonna. I believe that, like I said, the NEC system, the NEC uh, inspection and everything is a worthwhile thing, um, you know, for safety. And so, I think it's probably worth it to just do the. If you're gonna do permitted, um, it's better just to go ahead and hook up, do the hookup. And um, some people are saying, well, I just want to dip, dip my. Uh, you, you know toe in the water um well i think long term you know you want to do a system that lasts several years and you're just gonna have to do it the right way and the right way is doing it the nec way right way i don't i don't want to hire an electrician that will cost a lot of money well you know i i agree i don't think it's worth it to hire an electrician but there are so many resources out there to to you know to to figure out what the nec rules are and how to um, bend conduit you know and it's not expensive to buy a conduit bender and this conduit is like they're 10 bucks you know a t 10 bucks for a 10 foot piece it's not a lot of money um, and, and, and it's, it's worth knowing how to do it right. Um, the other thing is some of these systems are engineered systems where they're not going to blow off your roof. Um, you know, it, it, it's, you don't, you don't necessarily want to do these kind of homegrown uh, roof racking systems that are just gonna you know blow off your roof and and rip your roof off and you know I think you want to you know use uh, more standard systems um, you know city permits um, are I guess a, a big deal I've done a lot of videos on um, on permitting um, and I've uh, taken the time to figure out you know how to use these tools like this one here it's solar design tool and I have some videos that basically um, are integrated um, that integrate the uh, all the elements of your plan and you can take that down to the city and and basically um, you know come up with your own plans and some of the cities have this rapid um, plan process where they're gonna you're gonna be able to get through the the planning process and it's not going to be that big of a deal and you know some people say well grid tie inverters are too expensive but the thing is i i guess i'm not really buying it um you know when you consider how big a system you're going to want to have um uh they uh are if if you've got a big system um you know some of these aren't really that expensive when when you basically can consider the 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 cost per watt and and what you get for for them and you know the reliability that you're going to be able to have with them uh 
so some people want to go off grid and use batteries and i think that you know is a reasonable thing to 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 want to do but i prefer to start with just um using the grid tied system then you can kind of deal with the battery thing later it's quite expensive it's quite complicated and i don't think that's a good place to start <laughs>